<sighs> Morning boys, rise and grind, it's time to get that bread. What do you mean it's 10 a.m. and Scott uploaded a frickin' teaser? This has gotta be the earliest he has ever posted a teaser. Literally, it's 10.23 a.m. and there's a teaser on scottgames.com. So this is the teaser currently on scottgames.com and as you can see, it is none other than Vanessa herself. She is wearing her rabbit costume with a blue bow tie. She has lots of TV or computer monitors in the background. It honestly really reminds me of the uh, FNAF Help Wanted trailer where Freddy had all of the TV screens and then he turned around. I don't know if that is supposed to be referencing that or if this is actually the room where that took place because, you know, Security Breach is a sequel to Help Wanted, so maybe that location wasn't just made up for the trailer for Help Wanted, and this is the room where Vanny will stay. Okay, so the first thing that obviously caught my attention was the mask. This is very different from what we saw in Help Wanted. I think the main thing that is different is the coloring, right? When the Funko uh, Vanny action figure came out, everyone was absolutely livid that the, um, the right side of her face, or I guess it's the left side for her, was not colored brown. So I guess... The, uh, the mask in Help Wanted is a different thing than this, this suit that Vanny's wearing. So I think what she did was she made this mask for Glitchtrap and it was like, you know, do you like it? She even says, I made it myself. So maybe Glitchtrap was like, alright, well, you, you, you seem pretty worthy. Have this entire costume now. Because it is tradition in FNAF to wear a rabbit costume when doing the stabbing. Speaking of stabbing, Jesus Christ, look at that knife. That is like... <laughs> That's like the size of her forearm, that is insane. Yeah, there's lots of stitching on the costume, so it, I'm guessing it was made by either Glitchtrap or Vanny. I'm guessing it was probably Vanny because I don't think Glitchtrap can make a costume when he's a plushie. She has the whiskers going on, she has the, the buck teeth, she has her hand. Um, gesturing out, I'm not sure what gesture that's supposed to be. Maybe it's like, you know, come join me. It does say obey. So, maybe she wants us to obey, or she's supposed to obey. I'm guessing that Vanny is the one who's supposed to be obeying, because if we think back to the um, security goal teaser, it said protect. So, if we go by that logic, security goal is supposed to protect, and Vanny is supposed to obey. Saving the teaser, it just saves us obey.jpg, so nothing too exciting right there. Now, I think the timing of this teaser is very interesting, because as we all know, the anniversary for FNAF is tomorrow. So, what can we get tomorrow? Uh, it's hard to say. Releasing a teaser one day before a trailer isn't, you know, it's not impossible, but it's just a little strange, you know? It's also hard to determine if this teaser was put out because of the leaked poster we got yesterday, and for there being no trailer in Security Breach in the PlayStation State of Play, maybe this was, maybe this was Scott's way of saying, you know, you guys, you guys were pretty mad and upset that there was no trailer, so here's a teaser. Going back to the, um, the anniversary trailer for a quick second, um, again, it's, it's very hard to say whether or not we will get one tomorrow now that they've released a teaser one day before it. Again, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying it's a little bit odd. I, of course, do still really hope we get that trailer tomorrow, but just the fact that they released a trailer one day before the anniversary is a bit suspicious to me, but I do... I do still have high hopes. Yeah, but looking at the whole costume, you can clearly tell it's so much different from the mask and help wanted. I mentioned it earlier, but the coloring, the ears are slightly different. I think the mask and help wanted didn't have whiskers, but then again, I might be wrong. I have a picture of it uh, up right now, and no, it did not have whiskers. Uh, also, the eyes were hollowed out. They were still red. There was no hair at the top. Um, it looks like the eyelashes have changed. It looks like the snout and nose have changed slightly. There's no tongue. Again, the coloring is different. So yeah, it's definitely not the same thing. Of course, then you have the addition of the blue ribbon on her chest. I will say it is very interesting the way they are portraying uh, Vanny in these um, in these teasers, in these leaks, because it, it really makes it seem like Stillwall is really pushing for Vanny to be the villain. And now there's no doubt in my mind that she will be the villain. It's just very strange because they're making it so obvious and they're like really hammering it into your head like she is the villain. You know, she is supposed to be evil with the red eyes, the knife, and like I get it. It's just in Help Wanted, she always gave off that vibe that she 
was, again, a reluctant follower. Maybe this is just me, but I just find the way they're uh, revealing her evilness to be a bit strange, because again, I feel like in Help Wanted she had completely different vibes, but, you know, you could tell she was still a little bit evil. I just feel like they're really hammering that on now, like, yes, she's the villain, yes, she's very evil. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Do you feel that way? It might just be me. Being completely honest, it doesn't look like anything will appear when we brighten up the image, but I will do so because it's kind of tradition. Yeah, brightening up the teaser, of course, does nothing with these latest security breach teasers, unfortunately, but that's probably because these aren't your traditional teasers. I would be shocked if you couldn't tell, uh, but these, as far as I'm aware, are actually drawn by someone at Steel Wolf Studios who was an artist. So yeah, that is why all of these security breach teasers don't usually have any secrets within them. They do, like, if anything, alright, if, if anything, they do have something in their notepad when you open it up. As far as I'm aware, this hasn't, um... No, no one's done that for this teaser just yet, but I highly doubt there will be anything in there if I'm being 100% honest because um, if I remember correctly, no one brought up anything about that with the security girl teaser, so yeah. Just saying. The source code does not reveal anything new, it still says stay the course, I will focus on my voice, I will don't let anyone lead you astray, I won't have you selected one, I have. And honestly guys, that's about it for this teaser. It's just a better look at Vanny, which, I mean, we did kind of get yesterday with the poster, but I feel like this is so much better. I definitely do feel like Scott released this teaser, um because everyone was upset that there was no trailer in the state of play and everyone was upset because there was yet another uh, leak yesterday which Scott did reply to and I'll read that out right now. So I did pin it on the comments of that video but just in case you missed it this is what Scott said. He says, see this is how to properly do a leak using the finished product. So it seems like that poster not only was officially a leak, Trends International was not supposed to reveal that poster just yet, but it is also the finished poster, and that is what all the characters officially look like. So, that is very exciting. To close out this video, I want to do something that I always do at the end of Security Breach videos and talk about release dates. Now, a lot of people are saying that the game is getting really close to releasing, and I, I kind of feel the same way, just in a slightly different way. I do... I, I, I'm... 80% sure we will get a trailer tomorrow. I am 80% sure. That doesn't sound that high, but it is, you know, technologically pretty high, if you think about it. 80%, that's pretty good. Of course, there is that other 20% of me that's like, eh, maybe we won't, but I definitely feel like we, we will. I, I, again, 80%, I feel like we will. The other 20% is just, like, another list of current projects, you know, like what he did, um, I want to say in 2019 or 2018. Book news, um, teaser, or just basic information on Scott's independent game that he's working on, AAA news, um, movie news, anything. All that stuff is the other 20%. So again, that's pretty good odds. 80% with the trailer and 20% for literally anything else. When the trailer comes out, it will have a release date at the very end. When that release date is, I don't know, but I definitely would not be surprised if it is a September, like late September going into October, maybe even November at the latest. But yeah, I definitely do feel like it will be that early to mid quarter four. Uh, but yeah, basically that is it for the teaser. Uh, I'm gonna refresh one last time. Let's see if he took it down. He did not, it's still there, great. So yeah, that's the teaser. Tell me in the comments down below, how do you feel about this teaser? Are you excited for the anniversary tomorrow? And that's it for me today. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.